New Zealand is green, green to look at and green-minded environmentally. But it's got a problem. Its carbon footprint is vastly increased by its 38 million sheep and 9 million cows, compared to just 4 million people. And all those cows and sheep are, how can I put this politely, passing wind, both through their backsides and through belching. In fact, in the green and pleasant land that is New Zealand, a third of all the greenhouse gases produced here come from livestock. They belch out methane, which is 21 times more damaging than carbon dioxide. But now scientists here have taken the first step in trying to stop the animals producing any methane at all. In fact, the methane is actually produced by various microorganisms called methanogens inside sheep and cows' stomachs. Scientists at Ag Research on New Zealand's North Island are on the cutting edge of working out how to stop sheep and cows belching. They believe if they can do that for every herd around the world, it could have a massive effect in reducing global warming. If you're, you're looking at um, large amounts of um, methane gas coming out of, uh, in particular, um, beef and dairy cattle each day, there's you know, four or five hundred litres of, of methane being produced each day by each, uh, each cow. So. Uh, that certainly adds up very quickly. The first step has just been achieved, mapping the entire genome of one of the methanogens, with the hope of eventually inhibiting methane production in these microorganisms. Vaccine is the holy grail. We, you know, there's a lot of work to do. We are still in the very early stages. We know that in a test tube we can inhibit using vaccination type approaches. New Zealand's Prime Minister is trying to make the country a world leader in this field, here opening a new research centre. He wants to make agriculture far greener by tackling the livestock methane problem together with nitrate emissions from fertilisers. Half of all of our emissions come from agriculture, so if we want to cut our carbon footprint, we've got no option but to tackle head-on um, methane and nitrate emissions. Methane produced by cows and sheep isn't just a problem Here in New Zealand, worldwide, agriculture accounts for up to 13% of greenhouse gases, and much of that is from livestock. If scientists here can reduce or even stop methane production completely, it might just save the planet. Dan Rivers, Palmerston North, New Zealand.